Hello everyone, this is Vanessa from Deganya Aromatics and welcome to another video. In this video I will be making a test batch of a soap that has been on my mind. It's going to be a hot process soap. If you can, as you can see here, I have my oils heating up. My oils and my butters are heating up. The name of my soap is going to, it's called, um, Grapefruit Lemongrass Poppy Seed Soap. Right now, I'm just going to use my gloves. When I'm ready for the lye, um, I will put on my goggles. Cool. And my face mask. Cool. So now, I'm going to be I'm adding two drops of rosemary antioxidant to my oils or butters. And that's just to help with rancidity. And I'm stirring it up here. And my my crock pot is on low at the moment. Just a little bit of that. Next, I am going to blend in my coconut milk powder. This is going to be a low temperature hot process soap. Next, I am going to add in my ground up poppy seeds and lemongrass. Now it's time for to prepare. Now it's time to prepare my, my lye. So here's my scale. So before I actually prepare the lye, I'm going to put on my, first, I'm putting on my mask. So I got my face mask on, got my goggles. Now it's time to measure out the line. Now, I'm going to slowly add the lye to the water, never the reverse. Oil temperature 162.5, excellent. The light water is pretty clear, so we can pour it in.
want a thick blend to a thick trace, but at this particular moment, I feel pretty comfortable removing my goggle, my uh, face mask. Putting my goggles back on, continue to protect my eyes. So as I was saying, at this point, I feel pretty comfortable with um, taking off the uh, the face mask. Uh, the fumes from the lie really can't smell anything right now. And off and the, the other challenge, I always have. I wind up getting so hot between the combination of the goggles and the face mask. It's just hard to. It makes it hard to like move or breathe because you're just so sweaty. So I'm going to continue to stick blend my uh, my oils and the other ad additives until I get to a thick trick. <laughs> That's good. This is a nice, really thick, thick trace. And so now once I finish with this, the next step in my process, I'm going to cover it and allow the soap to cook. Normally, I am going to use a, um, it's called a bowl cover. You get them from the dollar store. So hopefully this will, uh, I can use it several times. And the cardinal rule when you are working with hot process soap, do not walk away as you can see it looks like it's already starting to move and it is and because it is moving so fast and I did not and I oh, I am what do I can get this off and I have to push it back down real fast okay and starting to volcano that was fast that was like two minutes oops that was like within two minutes, I think. Hold on, let me see. That's like within a minute, it started to really rise fast. But, oh, I'm splashing stuff all over the place. I've only had one glove on. I wasn't expecting it to move so fast. So, and it is separating a little bit here. And it does happen. Let me put my glove back on. And I'm going to whisk it a little bit because it is separating. I'm whisking it to bring it back together. Put the bowl cap back on so it can continue the cooking process. Ugh. This is bad as a saran wrap, right? We just got to get used to using it. know what using it with the gloves makes it really hard I should have my other gloves on but since I don't have long sleeves on put it right back again and let's see what happens as I was saying whenever you're making hot processed soap you cannot move away from your pot you should not I mean, I hear a lot of people say, well, they move away and they do some other things. Well, I'm using a pot that's really relatively small. And so my whole thing is that when it's small like this, you have to really, really pay attention. If I would have used a, say a seven quart or a six quart pot, pot I would have been comfortable walking away, but not, uh, not what I'm using with a two quart, I think this is. So let's continue to cook, and it is cooking. And it's not rising this time, not yet. And we'll just continue to watch. We're folding along the edges here. Yes, she's starting doing at the collapse. I'm loving it. Yes, isn't that beautiful? Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that fold. Almost a complete fold. So 
sometimes I actually start the whisking before the fold. But since this is a, since this is a small batch, I think my pot has enough space. I'm gonna see if I can see the entire fold. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take this off. Hopefully, I can get a good picture of it. Look at that! It's folding. Isn't that nice? And I do see some separation of the oils, but it'll be okay. Let's start whisking this back together. And as, we, as you can see, we are slowly moving into the mashed potato stage. I'm going to add in my super fat. And my, sup my, my super fat actually is consists of all of my so or all uh, a blend of all my soft oils. I'm adding in my super fat. And let's just blend it in. I'm going to whisk it. Next, I am going to add in my yogurt, my room temperature yogurt. Once I add my yogurt in, I'm going to stir it well and then I'm going to put my top on just so it can just um, marinate through the soap. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. Look, isn't that very pretty? The Vaseline stage. Isn't that beautiful? Nice and shiny and glossy. Now, next, I'm going to add in my essential oils or my essential oil blend. And it smells absolutely lovely. take my gloves off because I just want to put in just a few sprinkles of poppy seeds it's not a lot I want to get them before it gets too too hard on the top and sometimes you know you can the beauty on the tops of the uh, hot process it's different than cold process because they're made so much differently and I'm going to sprinkle just a few poppy seeds on top not a lot and just a few here and there doesn't have to be perfect And I'm going to sprinkle a few uh, pieces of lemongrass Oops. on top too. More for decoration than anything else. So I'm going to kind of like crush it. Nothing real fancy here. And that's it. And let me see it. I don't know if I like the lemongrass as much on top. Make sure when I put my labels, I'll tell people, you know, so they don't get scratched. That's why I ground the other ones. And there we go. I don't know if I like it. So I'm standing here and I'm cleaning out the pot. I'm thinking to myself, 
think it would be kind of nice to show everybody the uh, the sudsiness of the soap. Um, in theory, you could use it right now, but it's best when you're making working with hot process soap. Just like with cold process soap, you need to give it a time for um, complete water evaporation. I think I lost about third in the process. I'm estimating I lost about um, between 35 and 40 percent of the water. But I'm gonna get some water and we're gonna look at how this bubbles. Hold on, be right back. So I am back with a cup of water and a bowl, and I just want to show you this. So I'm gonna pour some water over you. Here's a small piece of soap. And look at that isn't that beautiful and it's freshly made just imagine what it's going to look like or what it's going to feel like when it's completely cured aren't those mm, oh my gosh mm, the grapefruit smells really good and the lemongrass makes a beautiful compliment we made soap is isn't that wonderful isn't that wonderful I am loving this soap right here. My test is to see if I wanted to, to make a bigger batch of it for selling. And guess what I am? Oh. Hmm. I am happy on how this soap came out. Yeah. I can't wait. Three weeks from now, it is going to be absolutely awesome. Oh, look at that that creaminess oh my goodness <sighs> so it's been about a couple hours and I put the soap in the freezer and let's look at the I'm gonna do the cut the unmolding and the cutting and let's see how beautiful the soap came out it's, so this is a little piece I got left over from out of the crock pot oh it's good I'm good for washing hands I took the soap out of the freezer and as you can see it's it's kind of it's going to be easy to unmold so bring this over here so you can see a little better it's going to be easy to unmold I know it is so I'm looking at it and it's so far so good a little bit more pressure a little bit pressure it is still relatively cold came out really nice and smooth which makes me happy mmm it smells really it smells good I like the way the color came out I'm trying to get some of the little lemongrass pieces off so what I did was I set my cutter to three quarters of an inch because this is going to be as I was saying earlier when I was making this so this is going to be a this is test bars which I will give away and for, for me, for a test bar, I like to see how the silk comes out before I make a big batch. And I tell you, so far, I am really pleased with this. But you can see speckles of the poppy seeds. You can also see them on this side, too. I don't like a lot of poppy seeds. I like poppy seeds. However, they can feel really scratchy on the skin. So I'm hoping by me um, just grinding the poppy seeds along with the lemongrass that it will... Um, cut down on the scratchiness, but still give a slight gentle exfoliation. I am going to turn the soup, I think, this way. Hopefully to avoid any lines in the middle. I'll know in a minute. So here's our first one. There it is. I have 20 sample bars of one of my newest soaps, which is white grapefruit and lemon, lemongrass poppy seed body soap. So 
this is Vanessa here from Deganya Aromatics and I just want to say thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule and enjoying and joining me and um, until our next video be abundantly blessed thank you